and self-destructive. I'm not a person who wants to die. I'm a person who has life and wants to live. The world of entertainment never ceases to surprise fans and audiences with rumors and speculations. This time, the rumors revolve around the iconic Whitney Houston. With her celestial vocals and timeless tracks, these rumors state that she might have a surprising tie to another well-known figure. Adding to the intrigue, Whitney's mother, Sissy Houston, has also confirmed these rumors. So what are these rumors? What does Sissy have to say? And who is this iconic figure linked to Whitney? Let's find out. Before we delve into these rumors, we need to understand how Whitney Houston became the woman we all knew and how this led to the recent revelations. The life and legacy of the iconic Whitney Houston, Whitney Elizabeth Houston, who was born on August 9, 1963, and passed away on February 11, 2012, was a multifaceted American talent, known for her prowess as a singer, record producer, actress, film producer, and philanthropist. Often referred to as The Voice, she is celebrated as one of the most exceptional vocalists in music history and holds the distinction of being one of the highest selling music artists worldwide, with over 220 million records sold globally. Whitney Houston's influence on the music industry was profound. With her powerful, soulful vocals, remarkable talent and incorporation of gospel techniques into pop music, her electrifying live performances left an indelible mark on generations of artists. Throughout her career, Whitney achieved numerous milestones, including 11 chart-topping singles on the Billboard Hot 100 with seven consecutive number one hits. Additionally, she made a successful transition into acting, further broadening her appeal. Her remarkable achievements garnered her a plethora of awards and accolades, including eight Grammy Awards, 22 American Music Awards, two Emmy Awards, and an impressive 30 Guinness World Records. Notably, she has been honored with multiple inductions into esteemed halls of fame, such as the Grammy Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame, among others. Whitney's journey began in Newark, New Jersey, where she honed her singing talents at New Hope Baptist Church during her childhood. She later ventured into the music industry as a background vocalist while still in high school and gained recognition as a teen model, becoming one of the first black women to grace the cover of Seventeen magazine in 1981. Under the mentorship of Clive Davis, chairman of Arista Records, Whitney signed a record deal with the label at the age of 19, leading to the release of her first two studio albums, Whitney Houston, 1985, and Whitney, 1987, both of which soared to the top of the Billboard 200 chart. One of Whitney Houston's most memorable performances occurred during Super Bowl XE Scene 5 in 1991, where her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner captivated audiences and garnered widespread acclaim from the media. Throughout her career, Whitney Houston's contributions to music and entertainment transcended boundaries leaving an enduring legacy that continues to inspire and influence artists worldwide. Whitney Houston ventured into acting with her debut in the romantic thriller film The Bodyguard, 1992, which despite receiving mixed reviews became the 10th highest grossing film at the time of its release. Its soundtrack, a remarkable achievement, clinched the Grammy Award for Album of the Year and remains the best-selling soundtrack album in history. The soundtrack produced several chart-topping singles, including I Have Nothing, I'm Every Woman, and I Will Always Love You. The latter, in particular, garnered the Grammy Award for Record of the Year, spending an unprecedented 14 weeks on top the Billboard Hot 100 chart and becoming the best-selling single by a female artist in music history. Besides her music career, Whitney Houston ventured into film production, overseeing successful projects such as The Princess Diaries, The Cheetah Girls, and diverse films like Cinderella, 1997, and Sparkle, 2012. With a career this promising, there is no doubt that there might be some secrets lurking in Whitney's shadows. Keep watching to know these recent rumors that have, have just been revealed. Whitney's family secrets and rumors surrounding her birth. Mom. Recently, there have been rumors circulating about Whitney's family secrets, 
similar to something straight out of a movie. Some people are suggesting that Teresa Graves, the legendary actress, could actually be Whitney Houston's biological mother. Yes, the same Teresa Graves from the TV series Get Christy Love. This might sound too incredible to be true, but stranger things have happened in the entertainment industry. Also, Sissy Houston, who has been leading a quiet life, has finally come forward to confirm what people have been speculating for years. Teresa Graves was a prominent figure in her day, much like Whitney. And interestingly, they bear a resemblance too. They share similar facial features, the shape of their eyes, and even the way they smile. Could it be a coincidence, or is there something more to it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Additionally, there is also speculation that Teresa and Whitney's mom were acquainted in the past. You might be wondering how such a significant secret could remain concealed for so long. Well, that's part of what makes this rumor so captivating. Keep watching to know more. Teresa Grave Whitney's alleged mom. Teresa Graves grew up without extravagant luxuries or wealth, but she possessed something remarkable within her, a spark that illuminated the world. Born in Houston, Texas in 1948, Teresa was the youngest in her family, and life wasn't always smooth sailing. During that time, societal divisions were based on skin color, and as an African-American, Teresa encountered unjust obstacles and limited opportunities. However, Teresa refused to be deterred. Even as a young girl, she enjoyed entertaining and bringing joy to others. Whenever an opportunity to perform arose, Teresa eagerly seized it, radiating like a bright star. Despite their modest means, her parents recognized her talent and wholeheartedly supported her, providing her with love and unwavering belief. As Teresa matured, she continued to pursue her dreams relentlessly. Whenever an opportunity to perform arose, she eagerly embraced it. Teresa participated in school plays and local shows, pouring her heart into each performance. Her charm and innate talent for acting did not go unnoticed. Then a remarkable moment unfolded as Teresa secured her breakthrough on television. She graced shows like the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and Laugh-In, showcasing her acting prowess to a wider audience. But the pinnacle of her success came when she landed the role of Christy Love, an undercover detective brimming with intelligence and sass. This role wasn't just another acting gig, it was revolutionary. Teresa made history as the first African-American woman to lead a crime drama series with Get Christy Love. The show wasn't merely entertainment, it served as a catalyst for change. Christy Love wasn't a damsel in distress like every other Hollywood tale. This time around, she was the one doing the rescuing. Teresa shattered stereotypes, demonstrating that black women could be resilient, brilliant, and influential. Viewers from all walks of life tuned in to witness Teresa's empowering portrayal. She wasn't just an actress, she became a symbol of hope, inspiring individuals everywhere to pursue their aspirations. Teresa Graves didn't just illuminate screens as an actress, she ignited a spark in the hearts of millions. Teresa's struggles and resilience Life's journey unfolded for Teresa with its share of ups and downs. Teresa experienced two marriages in her lifetime. Her first marriage to Richard Hooker ended in separation. Yet Teresa remained hopeful in her pursuit of happiness and love. She embarked on another journey of love when she married James Randolph in 1974. Their relationship endured until Teresa's unexpected passing. Teresa didn't have children of her own but her heart brimmed with love for her family and friends. They served as her support system, anchoring her through life's challenges. Every moment spent with them was treasured, bringing laughter and joy into her life. Beyond her acting commitments, Teresa indulged in various hobbies that added vibrancy to her life. She found solace in books, immersing herself in their pages and letting her imagination soar. Music was her source of comfort, and she sang with a voice that filled the air with beautiful melodies. Her spirituality also provided her with strength during difficult times, helping her navigate life's unexpected twists and turns. Nevertheless, Teresa's journey wasn't devoid of obstacles. As a black woman in the entertainment industry during the 1960s and 1970s, she encountered numerous challenges. 
racism and discrimination attempted to overshadow her talents, but Teresa remained resilient, refusing to let them hinder her dreams. She became a symbol of hope, showcasing that talent transcends racial barriers. One of Teresa's greatest setbacks occurred when her show Get Christy Love was abruptly canceled in 1975. Despite its initial success and critical acclaim, the show's premature end deeply affected Teresa. However, she displayed resilience and determination, quickly picking herself up and forging ahead to explore new opportunities. Tragedy and untimely death of Teresa Graves, following the conclusion of Get Christy Love, Teresa continued to pursue acting, although she didn't secure roles as prominent as her detective character. She appeared in various television shows like The Love Boat and Fantasy Island, but none matched the thrill of her detective days. Nonetheless, Teresa remained undeterred, persisting in the entertainment industry and even venturing into theater. As time progressed, Teresa transitioned her focus from acting to philanthropy and community involvement. Beyond seeking fame and fortune, she dedicated herself to helping others, devoting significant time to charitable endeavors and community engagement. Teresa was admired not only for her acting prowess, but also for her compassionate heart and altruistic nature. In 2002, tragedy struck when a devastating fire broke out at Teresa's house due to a malfunctioning heater. Despite rescue efforts, Teresa succumbed to the smoke, leaving a profound sense of loss among those who knew her and admired her on-screen presence. Teresa wasn't just an actress, she was a friend, a role model, and a genuine hero to many. Following her passing, conversations about Teresa persisted as people recounted her groundbreaking achievements in Hollywood and the inspiration she provided to others. Despite not reaching superstardom after her role in Get Christy Love, Teresa's influence remained significant and enduring. Whispers and Shocking Revelation During the 1960s and 1970s, while Whitney and Teresa were making strides in the music industry, America was undergoing significant social change. Civil rights movements were gaining momentum, with music playing a pivotal role. Soul, gospel, and R&B genres were flourishing. And both Whitney and Teresa initially pursued careers in these genres, pouring their hearts into their music. Although Teresa later transitioned to acting, her passion for music remained strong. Whitney, with her soulful voice, epitomized the essence of the era's music. Suddenly, the rumors began. Some people began speculating that Teresa might be Whitney's biological mother. The idea of two renowned singers sharing such a personal and clandestine connection intrigued many. While there's no definitive proof, whispers and insinuations from within the music industry fueled the rumor. As is often the case with rumors involving celebrities, speculation spread rapidly, capturing the public's imagination. During that time, pursuing a career as a singer, particularly for black women like Whitney and Teresa, posed numerous challenges. They often found themselves needing to conceal aspects of their personal lives to safeguard their professional reputations. This secrecy may have contributed to the longevity of rumors, as discussing personal matters openly was not as common then as it is today. Revealing scandalous information could have seriously damaged their careers, which is why they might have chosen to keep any truth behind the rumor under wraps. There were subtle indications within the industry of a strong connection between Teresa and Whitney, hinting at a bond that went beyond mere professional admiration, even though they didn't publicly acknowledge it. Speculation arose from private conversations, subtle cues in interviews, and cautious comments from fellow artists. Nevertheless, even in the absence of concrete evidence, People couldn't resist pondering the possibility. Whitney and Teresa shared striking similarities, from their appearance to their vocal abilities. Teresa, born in 1948, and Whitney, born in 1963, both hailed from Houston, Texas. Some speculate that Teresa might have given birth to Whitney at the age of 15 and entrusted her to Sissy Houston, who was Teresa's aunt. Additionally, both Teresa and Whitney bore the middle name Marie, adding fuel to the rumor's persistence over time. What's truly remarkable about this rumor is its reflection of the profound admiration people held for Whitney and Teresa. They transcended mere musical talent, 
emerging as symbols of resilience and empowerment, particularly for black women navigating a landscape filled with obstacles and prejudice. Whitney's struggles and challenges in the industry. Whitney Houston's soaring talent alone couldn't fully explain her monumental fame. Her life, marked by extraordinary highs and profound lows, transformed into a narrative that resonated deeply with millions. While her artistic brilliance elevated her to iconic status, her personal struggles, often laid bare in the public eye, made her relatable, vulnerable, and endlessly captivating. The speculated connection to Teresa added an intriguing layer to Whitney's already complex identity. Understanding why this speculation carried such weight requires acknowledging the significance of lineage in the music and entertainment world. Dynasties often emerge within these spheres, exemplified by families like the Jacksons, the Barrymores, or the Red Graves. Their legacies extend beyond individual achievements, weaving together tales of talent, ambition, hardships, and victories across generations. Being part of such a lineage entails more than just genetic ties. It involves inheriting a legacy along with its attendant challenges, expectations, and sometimes burdens. For Whitney, the pressure of expectations was constant. She wasn't merely a vocalist. She was also Cece Houston's daughter, Dionne Warwick's cousin, and as per rumors, Tersa Graves' alleged child. Each association brought its own set of expectations, standards, and inevitable comparisons. Moreover, such rumored connections occasionally offered an alternative perspective through which to interpret Whitney's life. Every challenge she faced, every powerful note she delivered, and every decision she made could be re-examined in light of this rumored lineage. This added complexity to discussions surrounding her artistic endeavors, her choices, and the tumultuous path of her life. For many fans of Whitney, the idea of this concealed connection held profound significance. It served as confirmation of the singer's deep ties to the realm of entertainment, where talent intertwines with lineage, relationships, and the weight of legacies. However, the impact of such rumors wasn't straightforward. For every individual fascinated by the notion of this secretive bond, there were skeptics questioning its validity. They argued that these speculations, though alluring, detracted from Whitney's own remarkable journey and accomplishments. Undoubtedly, the music industry operates as a microcosm where narratives often overshadow realities. In the realm of showbiz, artists' lives, both on stage and off stage, become narratives that fans emotionally invest in. Whitney's marital struggles and drug use. Despite her continued success in music and film, Whitney's personal struggles began to overshadow her career. Her 2002 studio album, Just Whitney, received mixed reviews, coinciding with widespread media coverage of her drug use and turbulent marriage to singer Bobby Brown. These reports of substance abuse and domestic issues overshadowed her accomplishments, exposing her private battles to the public eye. Following her divorce from Brown, Whitney made a triumphant return to the top of the Billboard 200 chart with her final studio album, I Look To You, 2009. Nonetheless, Whitney's voice remained her enduring legacy. With an unmatched vocal range and impeccable technique, she established a high standard for singers everywhere, influencing artists like Mariah Carey and Beyonce. Despite her inner struggles, Whitney also excelled on the silver screen. Roles in films such as The Bodyguard and Waiting to Exhale showcased her versatility as not just a singer, but also a skilled actress. What truly distinguished Whitney was her compassionate heart. Despite facing her own challenges, she dedicated time to support causes close to her, ranging from children's welfare to advocating for marginalized communities. Tragic death and funeral. Tragedy struck in February 2012, when Whitney accidentally drowned in a bathtub at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, with heart disease and cocaine use cited as contributing factors. Her death occurred on the eve of the 2012 Grammy Awards, leading to an outpouring of tributes and a surge in sales of her music. A private memorial service was held for Houston on February 18, 2012, at her home church, the New Hope Baptist Church, in Newark, New Jersey.
The service, initially planned for two hours, extended to four. Performances from various artists such as Stevie Wonder, CeCe Winans, Alicia Keys, Kim Burrell, and R. Kelly occurred. Hymns by the church choir complemented these performances, and remarks were made by Clive Davis, Houston's record producer Kevin Costner, Ricky Minor, her music director, Dion Warwick, her cousin, and Ray Watson, her security guard for the last 11 years. Although Aretha Franklin was expected to sing, she couldn't attend the service. Bobby Brown left shortly after the service began. Houston was laid to rest on February 19, 2012, in Fairview Cemetery, Westfield, New Jersey, beside her father, John Russell Houston, who passed away in 2003. Whitney Houston transcended being just a singer. She was a powerhouse whose voice touched souls and whose life inspired countless individuals. Regarded as one of the most memorable entertainment events in television history, Whitney's passing left a profound impact on fans worldwide. Her estate, totaling $250 million, reflected the immense success she achieved over her illustrious 25-year career. Houston's extraordinary life and career were immortalized in the 2022 biopic, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. Could these rumors be true? Despite widespread rumors, there was no concrete evidence linking Teresa to Whitney as her biological mother. No DNA tests, no hidden letters, and no admissions were ever presented. However, this lack of proof didn't quash the rumors. Instead, it added a layer of mystery, increasing the intrigue surrounding the story. Some believed the rumor wasn't just celebrity gossip, but a deliberate attempt to smear Whitney's reputation, a tactic often seen in the competitive music industry where artists face pressures of performance and rivalry. Whispers of secret affairs always attract attention, especially when involving two music icons, adding to the allure of the tale. Both women, immensely talented in their own right, left indelible marks on the world. Teresa shattered barriers in television, while Whitney dominated the music industry. While they may share resemblances, it doesn't confirm any familial ties. Regardless of their relationship, Teresa Graves and Whitney Houston left enduring legacies, demonstrating the capabilities of black women in entertainment. Teresa paved the way for others, and Whitney set a standard with her extraordinary voice and presence. While they may not be biologically related, they will forever be celebrated as two extraordinary women who transformed their respective fields. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it interesting. Tap on the link that pops up on your screen to catch up on your favorite celebrities. See you there.